my three-year-old's classmates and asking for their emails for the birthday party. And so far, three out of three dads. I grew up in a single father household, so I want to say something about this. Listen, this article, great. So growing up in a single father household, <clears throat> the thing we're not thinking about here is like, yes, does this take the mental load, some of the burden off the wife? 100%. But you know what it also does? It means that if something happened to your family, as in your mom, the mom passing away, like my mom did, then the dads aren't like out to dry. As much as we can point fingers at the dads and say, get involved, this also requires all the moms to be okay sharing their phone numbers. And as a kid, a lot of moms would not share with my dad. I think it was a little weird to be texting with some dad in the classroom. So why I'm here, moms, if you want this, look at yourselves as well. Are you actively inviting the dads? Are you talking about things they might be interested in? Are you checking in on them? If you hear a dad giving out his email and another mom is like, oh, like, should I contact your wife? Step in and say no. Do the dads need to step up? Yes, 100%, I'm not arguing that. But what I'm saying is the moms out there also need to be paying attention to their actions and what they're doing because that matters just as much. And if you feel weird about doing it, think about me as a little kid who lost her mom and then suddenly her dad really like was on the outside of every social support system for raising his kids. He had to do all sorts of wild things. Like I can post another video about all the things he had to do to try and get in with the moms, but moms, look at yourself too.